Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a really wonderful Wednesday thus far. And so, of course, focus will be on the Caribbean and surrounding areas in this update video. And so we're going to be talking about what is expected as we head throughout today as well as uh, a bit further into the future. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so as we return to this satellite imagery, we can definitely see where we have quite a bit of activity taking place, a bit of showers and thunderstorms along most of the intertropical convergence zone over in the tropical Atlantic. However, on approach to the Caribbean, we see a lot more activity within that area. So let's zoom in down there. And so that cluster of showers and thunderstorms is in association with a tropical wave that currently has its axis extended into Suriname. And so it's going to continue to propagate towards the west and in doing so it will induce lots of showers and thunderstorms across some areas such as Trinidad and Tobago and so uh, this is just a matter of days after that major rainfall increase in Trinidad and of course there was a lot of widespread flooding across the country so hopefully this tropical wave is not going to be inducing that much activity but in the case where there is flooding guys please do not take any unnecessary risks and stay safe as best as possible. So heading into tomorrow that tropical wave is expected to extend or the axis of that wave is expected to extend uh, through most of the Lesser Antilles also going down into sections of eastern Venezuela. So it was going to be entering the region and of course it could help to enhance the activity there a bit more uh, if a lot of that shower and thunderstorm activity remains intact. So this is the kind of activity that we're going to continually see especially progressing uh, toward the peak of the hurricane season and that is going to be the time to really watch out for these waves because uh, conditions are expected to be conducive enough around that time to allow for development and uh, a lot of the major storms that we've had in the past they're all from tropical waves they, that's where most activity originates uh, most of these cyclones from the season originates so we're definitely going to have to continue to look out for those and as I mentioned that uh, heading to the latter part of this month there's likely going to be that rainfall increase for the northeastern Caribbean so we're looking at the climate prediction centers global tropics hazard outlook map here and of course uh, going to the week of the 21st to the 27th uh, there you can see that area highlighted that paler green and that brighter shade of green and so that indicates above average rainfall probability so definite chance of above average rainfall and this is going to be as a result of those tropical waves once they're sustaining that activity uh, they're going to be resulting in all of that increased rainfall across sections of the Caribbean and so uh, of course guys I'll continue to keep you updated if you're in the northeast and you've been longing for some rainfall some relief is likely on the way but now let's head back to uh, the general uh, Caribbean region and so so we're taking a look at other areas to see what is currently going on and there we can definitely see that a lot of that activity is taking place within uh, the southwestern Caribbean of course we have these Central American territories of uh, Nicaragua heading to Costa Rica and Panama so lots of increased rainfall and the GFS was actually forecasting this as well as some crazy development but the model is now backing off from that and I was sort of expecting that to be the case because other models were not really showing anything and I mean Euro was also expecting that increased rainfall activity but was not showing uh, any major development compared to the GFS at one point showing uh, a major hurricane or a cat 2 hurricane that was just uh, absolutely insane but now thankfully it is backing off so that is pretty unlikely at this point in time but again that increased rainfall is in the southern Caribbean and it will enhance that risk of flooding for uh, the aforementioned countries so if you're there guys please do not take any unnecessary risks and take the necessary precautions but for most other areas uh, we should be waking to some beautiful sunshine this morning other sections of uh, these Central American territories going to parts of the Yucatan, Belize, the Bay Islands, uh, Ambergris Key, also parts of Guatemala going to El Salvador and uh, Honduras of course and then of course in the Caribbean the Cayman Islands, Cuba, Jamaica, uh, Hispaniola not expected to receive a whole lot of rainfall today 
Uh, but going to Puerto Rico, we can definitely see where a bit of thunderstorm activity, uh, maybe with some showers as well as moving into parts of the country. And then over in the east, there isn't much going on, but there is uh, some little clusters of activity coming from the tropical Atlantic that could enhance uh, the weather across the Lesser Antilles. So you might find that at times it gets pretty overcast and maybe there is a brief thunderstorm or some showers. So uh, that is what it's likely as we're going to be progressing through today. Going uh, down into the ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Benir, there isn't much happening and similar story for sections of the Bahamas. Now in terms of the rainfall activity anticipated through today, so we're looking at the GFS model as well as the Euro. So GFS up first and as this becomes more colorful, more rainfall activity is expected. So we can see that GFS is expecting quite a bit of rainfall for Trinidad and Tobago, also for parts of Northern Guyana, going to Northern Suriname and sections of French Guiana as well. Also substantial rainfall taking expected to take place across sections of Venezuela, heading to Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica and parts of Eastern uh, Nicaragua. So these areas, this is where the most rainfall for today is anticipated. And the Euro model is in agreement with this, showing a bit less rainfall for uh, Trinidad and Tobago. So uh, let's see what's going to be happening throughout today. But I cannot emphasize enough uh, the, the importance of staying safe and not taking any unnecessary risks, guys. And so, uh, of course, I'll continue to keep you updated as time goes by. And that is pretty much it for this update. And so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.